Ah. You got it that time. I'll have to edit that. <sighs> Good day there, YouTube. DJ Eagle coming at you for the review of the 1UP Arcade Camera Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, we've got the four player setup. Um, we're going to set up with uh, the original game and we're going to see how it runs. And we're going to see how well it is, how well it fits four people because this is only a half cabinet. So, first person up, Gagashi! Let's go! Start the game! Ding. As you can see, you've got the standard intro there. Good old volume control here. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> that was pretty weird. Well, let's start the game, yeah? Okay. Ooh, did it. Thanks. Let's go for you. Fire! I'm on it. We don't need it that loud. It brings back some memories. I used to play this back when uh, I was his age. <laughs> back home in England. Yeah. Many plays. Oi! So, as you can see, he's getting his ass whooped. Pretty responsive. Hey! Hey, Tiki, your turn. Jump! Okay, so now we're going to add a second player and we're going to see how cramped it starts to get. Ah, as you can probably see, all we can see is head right now, so you gotta scooch over this way a little bit. There you go. Okay, so now we've got two people up. Let's go get the third person. Come on, Let's go. Are you gonna attack him? Careful! So, my third player is coming down. Pick one. It's one. Okay. So there we got three people in. As you can see, it's really, really cramped already. Are they here? And now we're going to go for the fourth person. Kyle, you're going to get down teller, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> So there we go, we got four people around the actual unit as you can see. We got from the left side here. Very loud child over there. It does get pretty cramped. Oh, it's definitely not as uh you can definitely tell the difference in size for uh for the game. But as you can see from the gameplay itself. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the total cabinet there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty sweet to have. Definitely recommend it for any collector who's got one. Um, okay, guys, we're gonna switch over to uh, the secondary game. See how the secondary game runs. Before you kill the boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, idiot. Hey, yes, time. There we go. Turtles in time is game two. So let's see how that one runs. So we still got the four players. Mm -hmm. We got one. Yes! <gasps> Two. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Two. So yeah, every time you push the uh, the one up button, it gives you the classic let's kick shell. And you can see it has all the uh, all the uh, cutscenes as it should have. Um, gameplay runs pretty damn sweet, to be honest. Um, as I've said before, the price tag is pretty hefty. It's 650 bucks uh, before tax, Canadian. Uh, is it worth it? What do you think, guys? Do you think it was worth the price tag I paid? Yeah. Yes. 
No nope. comment. Nope. Okay, no yes, yes. All right, so we have one no comment, three yeses. So, there's that. I mean, as you can see, for the size-wise, it's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty tall. Oh, my arm's in the way. Watch out for the bugs, oh. guys. Ouch. I got a squish. Ow. Watch out for the bugs, guys. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty cool, uh, cool setup. So I'd, uh, I definitely do recommend it. Um, but yeah, gameplay is pretty cool. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I, I want to play too. So uh, on that note, um, I hope you've liked what you've seen and. Uh, uh, Hope you liked what you've seen and um, tune in for the next one. Uh, there'll be an unboxing of Death Stranding coming up very soon. Uh, yep, there we go. Sorry about that. I am using my GoPro, so it's a little iffy. But um, on the next stage. Until the next one, this is DJ Eagle signing off. And I will catch you later. Hit the old like and subscribe. Signing out.